Hi, it's Monday and it's time for block 15 of the June Mini Madness series. Um, I hope you have a good Monday and a good start of your week. Today I decided to pre-sew my half score triangles since uh, you've had a week's worth of practice on those so you should know how to do them. Um, <clears throat> for the three inch blocks, you're going to need two one and seven eighth inch square of your red fabric cut in half diagonally and four of your one and seven eighths inch of your background cut in half diagonally to make your four half square triangle units. You'll need two one and a half inch squares of your background and two one and a half inch, three one and a half inch squares of your blue fabric or whatever other fabric you're using. This is a two color block. For your six inch blocks, you'll need two and seven eighth inch squares of your red fabric cut in half and two, two and seven eighths inch of your background squares cut in half diagonally to make those half square triangles. Right, two and seven eighths and two and seven eighths. I'm not sure if I bumbled that. Two, two and a half inch squares of your background and three, two and a half inch squares of your blue fabric. So let's once you sew your half square triangles, you arrange your block as such. This is the road to California, and we'll sew it together. And I will uh, tell you that I'll have page three of written instructions up on my blog today. There'll be a link to download, though, that page, so you'll have the next five blocks here that we've done. And you'll be able to print them up and save them. For those of you that are starting out your work week, I hope it's a good one. And if you're starting out another week at home, I hope it's a good one as well. I've been enjoying uh, my one day of work at the quilt shop for the last couple weeks. It's been kind of nice to get back into a little more normal of a routine. We're getting ready for the uh, quilter's trek which was formerly the row by row experience. And this year they're, they have decided to do it a bit differently. And each shop is designing uh, nine inch blocks that go together in a row or a square. And then that since COVID-19 happened, they've also added the option of being able to um, purchase those kits online. So uh, at Threads That Bind, we're busy getting our kits together I, and I'm writing up the instructions, and it's down to the wire here. So hopefully we'll I'll get that finished up this uh, in today, and we'll be ready to start our quilter's trek. So for this block, we're going to press the the center seams toward the center square, and the seams on the outer row are going to go out toward the outside. So this gives you, um, so you're pressing away from your half square triangles, which is really optimal to reduce bulk. Um, as always, you can press open if you like. Make sure your seams are nested as you sew them together. Gotta watch that little this area you got two triangles meeting so I like to kind of pull that back take a peek and make sure they're both in the right spot so over them and then the same thing on this side you're gonna want to make sure your points are meeting up nicely. You sew right across the tip. You don't want to sew into the tip. Oops, so that one's a little bit off. So this one I would re-sew. And to re-sew that, you don't need to take out the whole seam. I usually go back about halfway. Get 
those stray threads out of the way. And really take a look and see what's why I was so far off on that one. Okay, we want to get those. Nested. Let's try this. Try number two. See what we come up with here. That looks a little better. It's still a little. It's still a little off, but I think it's close enough to make me happy. So that's block fifteen. Road to California. See you tomorrow with the next block.